Well, we can prevent it now, of mm -hmm. course, and uh, there are a couple of ways to do that. Um, one of the most profound effects on health in our own country has been uh, simply behavioral changes. And uh, you know, it's very difficult to get people to follow the rules, but if you ask about the basic causes of death, uh, they are cigarette smoking, um, obesity, um, uh, drunk driving, uh, all drug suicide. use. All uh, suicide. <laughs> uh, a, lot of, a lot of it is, uh, is just you know, doing things that uh, are bad for your health. So you know, those of us who exercise and follow dietary guidelines and don't smoke and don't drink to excess mm -hmm. and don't use drugs and, and uh, protect ourselves in, uh, uh, in uh, sexual situations, uh, either by being monogamous or celibate or by, or by using preventive devices, uh, we have uh, a much lower uh, level of disease and, and a much higher life expectancy. So those are big changes. So you say prevent cancer. Well, we can already do that by stopping smoking and, the num a number and avoiding excessive sunlight. And now there are vaccines. The, the two most dramatic um, are the, the, the hepatitis B vaccine, which, is, which was developed some years ago using recombinant DNA technology. And uh, just in this morning's paper, there's yet the latest report on the human papillomavirus vaccine that's being developed in a couple of companies uh, that uh, protects against uh, uh, cervical cancer, which is still a major cause of death around the world for women, not so much in this country. Uh, we've had another preventive measure, which is screening. And uh, you don't necessarily prevent the cancer, but you find it at a very early stage when it's treatable. So I think what we all hope for is a time when we can use the molecular understanding of cancer to screen an individual at uh, various times during life and, uh, and, and find, uh, find the cancer before it, it's uh, too far advanced to be operated on. In a sense, we already do that in a non-molecular way with colonoscopy, which is you know, one of the great preventive tools um, because we can find cancer at an early stage before it's become malignant. And uh, there really is no reason for anyone to die of colon cancer in, in this country, but uh, people do because they don't use the preventive yeah. technique that's there.